Some reached out to 11 Alive concerned about a change one school district is making next month after federal pandemic funds used to offer all students free lunches were not extended this year. Now we know that this is a situation many Metro Atlanta school districts are dealing with right now. 11 Alive's Erica Murphy set out to get some answers for this Bartow County mom about what's going on in her district. Bartow County parents that I spoke with today believe that hundreds of students will be penalized for outstanding school lunch bills and that something else should be done. I just can't imagine somebody taking my four year old's lunch out of his hand and giving him something that he's not going to eat. Turner said she got an email informing the community that any student with a school lunch balance of $25 or more would get a substitute meal for lunch until the balance is paid. But this mom says families are struggling and the district should do better. Things have changed in the last couple of years. Post pandemic, everything is different. You know, um, bills are higher, groceries are higher. Um, there's a lot of parents who are struggling still to find jobs or to find jobs that provide for their family. The district says federal funding that allowed for free meals has dried up and their hands are tied. They also say in part in an emailed statement following policies and procedures in place for decades, following suit with numerous other systems statewide, substitute meals may be given if accounts are negative $25 or more. Again, that is a policy that has been communicated for more than 10 years and implemented professionally with care and compassion in our school community. The change is slated to take effect on April 17th. Reporting from Cartersville, Erica Murphy, 11 Alive News.